Hey, it's Clay. Hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to another video. Uh, so it's been a little while since I posted, and that's because I've been busy with this. Uh, this is a Fender Blackface AB763 <laughs> style circuit. And, uh, yeah, I think it's done now. Um, I didn't want to do a step-by-step -step build guide just because I don't really know. I mean, they end up being really long and, and all that stuff. So I just kind of wanted to do a summary and kind of the highlights of what's going on and uh, I'll have plenty of tone examples to share so first and foremost let's talk about what exactly this is um, so with Fender Blackface style amps the AB763 circuit is probably the one that is most well known and however with that it that also means that it is kind of the most confusing so this is my understanding the AB763 is a style of circuit that is shared throughout many, many Blackface Fender amps. Um, you know, in terms of the basic preamp, the, the push-pull output section, the reverb, the tremolo, although not necessarily, um, all of that is kind of a common denominator. And then the big differences between it would be uh, whether they use 6L6s or 6V6s, two or four output tubes, um, if it had reverb, if it had tremolo, the if it was a head versus a combo, and if it is a combo, the number of speakers available. So, um, yeah, let's talk a little bit about this. This is kind of more of a 6L6 variant. So, in this current format with just a head chassis, if I put it at a head enclosure, it would be kind of similar to something like a Bandmaster reverb. If I put it into like a 4x10 combo, then it would be similar to a Super Reverb. The power transformer is a little bit more moderately sized, um, so kind of in like the Vibrolux family, maybe the Pro Reverb family. But then the power, I'm sorry, the output, I'm sorry, I was speaking about the power transformer. The output transformer is a little bit bigger, a little beefier, more in the um, Super Reverb or Basement style. Currently it has two JJ6V6s which would be indicative of a deluxe reverb, but I could put six L6s in there and kind of get yeah up into that bigger category. So, um, I'm just going to call it my AB763. You know, and like I said, if I put it into a head enclosure, it would basically be like a kind of a supercharged, upgraded output transformer bandmaster reverb. Um, if I put it into a 2x12 combo, which I'm thinking of doing, I have a... 2x12 cabinet that I could convert into a combo. I believe it would be like a Pro Reverb, but um, please correct me if I'm wrong there. Again, though, if I keep with the 6v6s, then it's kind of something a little different. So, yeah. Um, let's talk a little bit about some of the modifications that I made. So, I have two channels. I have a normal channel uh, with two, two inputs, volume, bass treble. And then I have a vibrato channel, two inputs, volume, bass, mid, treble, reverb, tremolo, and speed and intensity. So I don't have any bright switches. Um, so some, this, I am probably going to leave the vibrato channel relatively stock. However, um, I am going to mess with some mods kind of in the rest of the amp and specifically on the normal channel. For starters, I've got a negative feedback pot right here set all the way off. It is actually slightly, um, the, the, the stock negative feedback value is 820 ohms, to my understanding. And I am slightly under that at like 780, I believe. Um, blue, gray, brown. So I, it could be six, is that 680? So slightly under. And then I have a 100k pot. So I can crank this bad boy up and actually, once I get to about halfway up, it seems to have as enough resistance to basically completely remove the negative feedback. Negative feedback is, um, <clears throat> it's kind of like a limiter on the amp. And so by removing it, you actually increase output and gain and, and openness, rawness. So that's something that I really like. Um, and then actually with the normal channel, I'm probably going to mess with the tone stack pretty extensively. I may experiment with some uh, different mid-pots. If I use a higher value mid-pot, I believe I currently have a 10K. If I go higher, then it could uh, 
get a lot more tweedish sounding or, or something like that. Um, so yeah, for now, uh, this is the amp. Um, let's talk a little bit about some of the parts. So the chassis is actually a deluxe reverb style chassis that I got from Hoffman Electronics. The parts are also from the Hoffman AB763 kit. The transformers are from Classic Tone. Uh, I actually found this power transformer used on eBay, and then I got the matching set. I believe it's they're like the mid-size 606, so it would be like the, the Vibrolux style power transformer. But then again, the output transformer is actually from Hoffman. Sorry, not Classic Tone. The output transformer specifically is from Hoffman, and that is the bigger Super Reverb style. So, um, yeah, currently, like I said, have a GZ34 JJ rectifier, two JJ6V6s, but I will mix, mess around with six L6s. And then actually at this current time, V1, which is the normal channel tube, is pulled, which increases the gain a little bit. And then I've got some Tong Sol tubes in the preamp, 12X7s in V2, in the reverb center return slots, and then also in the phase inverter. Now let's talk a little bit about the tremolo. Uh, this is something I didn't kind of do my research on enough and I'm still figuring out, but the Hoffman kit actually uses a different tremolo circuit. It uses the bias modulating tremolo taken from a Fender 6G16, I believe, uh, which is like a Tweed Vibrolux. And um, as opposed to the AB763 Roach style, so if you look in this part of the circuit right here, you can see that some of the parts aren't quite right. The, the roach photocell thing isn't there. Um, and so, and actually I've had some trouble getting it to work, which could be related to my bias circuit was a little weird, but um, actually the tremolo isn't such a huge deal, and I may just end up ordering the roach style stuff anyways. But uh, I got it working for now, and I'm pretty pumped with that. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of give you guys an explanation of what this amp is. And um, like I said, now that I got it up and working and sounding really good, I'm probably going to see if I can't put it inside of this uh, 2x12 cabinet enclosure that I've got here. And um, although it is kind of fun having it out, it's probably dangerous to have it out because there's a bunch of voltages going on in these components. Um, you know, I've got like 445 volts going on the plates of the output tubes. But uh, it's pretty neat to at least see all the work you've done. So uh, let's go ahead and get a close-up here. So you can see this is the normal channel, the tone stack and the intro stuff to the normal channel. There's V1, V2, V3. We start getting into the vibrato channel. Got a little crowded because I decided to do the wiring on top, I, but um, actually everything turned out fine. We're getting into the power section. There's our two output tubes. There's our rectifier, transformer, our bias circuit. So yeah, pretty fun build. Um, I have a preamp ground bus right here. And then it goes to that bolt. Then the jacks are self grounding. And we've got another preamp ground bus going right there. Got a big washer there that is grounding these bad boys, the filter caps. Um, yeah. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments. But uh, let's go ahead and cut this one off, and we'll have some tone clips coming here soon. See ya.